how it all began. Today, televisions can be found in billions of homes around the world. 100 years ago, however, nobody even knew what a television was. It was only on April 30, 1939, that for the first time, visitors to the World's Fair in New York saw moving pictures and heard sound coming from a small black and white screen built into a large wooden box. They were undoubtedly stunned to learn this technological marvel could soon be in their living rooms. The invention of television was the result of several discoveries. John Logie Baird, a Scottish inventor, gave the first public demonstration of a machine called Televisor, which used mechanical rotating discs to scan moving images into electronic impulses. This information was then transmitted by cable to a screen where it showed up as a low resolution pattern of light and dark. Baird's electromechanical television was superseded two years later by American inventor Philo Farnsworth, who made the first electronic television. And now, some curious facts about the development of television that you probably didn't know. Have you ever asked yourself why TV dramas are called soap operas? Well, the first successful daytime drama on television was Search for Tomorrow, which debuted in 1951 and ran until 1986. The series was sponsored by Procter & Gamble, a multinational company producing hygiene and household products, hence the term soap operas. The very first TV remote control came from Zenith in 1950. It was connected to the TV set through a wire. It was eloquently called Lazy Bones, and its advert promised consumers they could change TV programs from their easy chair. The wireless remote followed in 1955. Philo Farnsworth would not let his own children watch TV. He once said to his son, there's nothing on it worthwhile and we're not going to watch it in this household and I don't want it in your intellectual diet. 